Finding slope given the graph of a line in quadrant 1 that models a real-world situation. You might recall from previous classes that slope is referred to as the rise over the run. So we will talk about how we use that concept of the rise over run in this problem. Let's start by reading the given problem. The sugar sweet company needs to transport sugar to the market. The graph below shows the transporting cost in dollars versus the weight of sugar being transported in tons. So when you're asked to find the slope, what you're really being asked to find here is the cost in dollars per tons. So how many dollars are you paying per ton? That's what you really want to know, the unit rate. So let's start by identifying some points on this graph and we'll take a look at the same graph down below with some color and the points already highlighted for us. So when we see the graph, we know that the graph passes through the point 0, 0,900. So that means what? That means for 0 tons, the cost is $900. Now, we can also see the point 1, 1,500. In other words, that means for 1 ton, the cost is $1,500 to transport. So now, let's calculate that cost in dollars per ton using these two points. So what is, this, what is the difference in dollars here? From 900 to 1,500, we can find the difference by subtracting 1,500 minus 900, which is 600. And now let's find the difference in tons. One between zero and one, the difference is one minus zero, which is one. So the amount of dollars per ton would be 600 out of one. In other words, 600 divided by one, which is just $600 for each ton of sugar being transported. Now, what you'll notice in these problems is that in part B, when you're being asked to find the slope of the line, you're actually being asked the same question as part A. But the only difference is we just write the number without any unit. In other words, we just write 600 for the slope. We don't write the dollar amount, or if we were, for example, given a number um, in a measurement of miles, we wouldn't say the number with the unit of miles or the unit of inches or so forth. We just give the number by itself when being asked to um, give the slope. 